After two months and a ton of hours of playing, my four-year-old son and I finally beat Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I grew up playing Zelda games and I had a blast, but I was blown away when I opened up YouTube and saw that somebody had beaten this entire game in just 22 minutes flat. Right in the face! All right. That must have hurt! Now when gamers do something like this and are able to complete a game really, really quickly, it's called a speed run. And the only way that they could accomplish this is by knowing all of the shortcuts, knowing all of the different ways that you can save time, and also knowing what side quests and missions to avoid because they're just going to end up wasting your time. And so I was fascinated with this idea of thinking, okay, like I'm in a good place in my career. I've been able to do a lot of different things. I've built my web design and SEO agency. I've launched a SaaS product. I've launched courses. I've built a YouTube channel. But if I had to start over today, what would I do with all of the knowledge I have to be able to speed run my career and do what took me originally five years and break that down and do it in just a few short months. And so in this video, I wanna break down all of the things that I would do starting today to speed run my career to six figures and multiple six figures and to accomplish all my goals. And my hope is that by the end of this video, you have the cheat sheet to shortcut your career as well and get to the point where you're accomplishing all of your goals and you're making the money that you wanna make. So let's dive into it. Now this goes without saying, I wish I would have started earlier, right? That's always the best way to do something quicker or early in your life is just starting sooner. But with that said, one regret I do have early on is not spending my money properly. So I went to college, I got a college degree in web design and development, and that has virtually done nothing for me aside from just introducing me to building websites. And so I did spend a lot of money on that degree. And I'm not saying that I wouldn't go through college and get a degree again, but I wish I would have taken my money and invested in more personalized and specialized education online. There are tons of different courses and academies and even college level uh, instruction that you can get online for just a few thousand dollars. And I wish I would have done this once I found my path just to shortcut that knowledge because some things that took me a few years to learn, I could have learned instantly in a thousand dollar course and been way ahead of the curve. So I do wish I would have invested more in myself early on that's the first thing that I would do differently starting from scratch today. Now, one of the things that has held me back more than anything else is it took me way too long to raise my prices. When I first started building websites, I was charging maybe a few hundred dollars for pretty big projects. And now down the road, I've been able to charge a lot more, five, ten thousand $10,000 on average. I've even sold websites for $40,000 and $75,000. And while those were massive projects, that really illustrates how big of a gap there is between those small starting prices and what you can actually charge for a really quality website. Now, I never realized how much I had procrastinated my price increase until I had an old client reach out to me. This was actually what I considered my first big website project. It was a $2,000 website project back in early 2019. And I haven't met with this client since then, but he just reached out to me and asked for some site updates and we did a single page site update for $1,000. So if you think about that, the first time I did a site, which was about a 15 page site, it was $2,000. And this time around, because of my increase in confidence and experience, I was able to charge $1,000 to just clean up and fix up a single page. And so you can charge more. There's a lot that goes into this, but that's one regret that I made and that's something that I would do differently in this career speed run is raising my prices earlier and a lot more frequently to start to push the limit of how much I can charge and how much people are willing to pay. Now, if I was speed running my career, I would also start way earlier with creating content. If I started today, I would immediately start posting everything that I'm doing on YouTube. These wouldn't have to be refined videos like I'm doing right now. You wouldn't need a nice camera, a nice mic or anything else, but I would start documenting every step of the process a lot of times we hesitate to create content because we think, oh, like I'm not an expert yet. But you don't have to be an expert to create content. You just need to share your experiences and start building that audience because your audience is what's going to open all of the other opportunities for you. So I waited way too long to start that. And even when I did start, I was only posting like once every couple of weeks. And so 
in this speed run, that would be the source of all of my sales, all of my customers, everything that I do. And so starting right off the bat on YouTube would be an absolute must. Now, another quick side note of something that I would do in the speed run is I would not procrastinate getting a proper office space. When I first started out, I was doing all of my work from the couch. I had a baby. There was you know, noises in the background. It was difficult for me to take calls and this really stunted my growth. And so I would have right off the bat found an office space, whether it is you know, buying a, a house that has an extra bedroom, or if that's not a possibility, finding a co-working space or even going to the library, just finding somewhere where you can be focused, you can take calls, you don't have to worry about background sound, and that's gonna make a huge difference in your speed run through your career. All right, so this is a huge one. If I wanted to get to my end goal as quickly as possible, the one thing that I would realize right off the bat is that I can't do it by myself. In fact, most of the success that I've had, I have to attribute to my team members and the people that I've hired because we've been able to do 10 lifetimes worth of work in just a few short years. And so I would outsource right off the bat. It took me probably about two years to start hiring people. I first hired an SEO team, then a project manager, then a designer. And if I could do it all again, I would hire people right off the bat, right when I land my first client. The only thing I would make sure of is that I'm going to have big enough margins where I can pay my own bills, pay rent, and I don't have to stress. But aside from that, I would take any extra money that I'm making and I would roll that over into paying somebody because even if your margins aren't fantastic on those early projects, you're already training somebody up, seeing how they work, and once they're off running with a project, you have nothing to focus on but finding the next project. And so it's going to accelerate your growth and help you find way more work in a shorter period of time. Now on the topic of money, my first couple years, I was so concerned about saving and pocketing all of the money I made. I was kind of a hoarder in a way where it was like, I don't know if I'm gonna make money next month, so all the money I make this month, I'm gonna put in my bank account, I'm going to invest. And while that is good to protect your money, if you're too chintzy about it, it's going to be really difficult for you to grow because there has to be some sort of financial investment back into your business to help accelerate that growth, whether you're paying for team members or tools or advertising or anything else. And so don't hold your money too tight that you're afraid to invest back into your business because you're going to buy back your time and that money is going to accelerate you to where Let's say I'm nervous to spend $1,000 today, but if I spend that money, it might make me $3,000 next month. And if I reinvest that $3,000, that's gonna get me to $10,000 a lot more quickly. And so don't hold on to your money too tight. And with that said, you know we've all been told, hey, invest your money, invest in the S&P 500 or whatever it is. And while those are great long-term strategies, you're typically only gonna see maybe an eight to 10% return versus investing back into your business, you could see a 10,000% return because there is so much to be said for your business having all the resources that it needs to grow quickly. All right, so now let's talk about procrastination because my whole career of five or six years or however many years it's been has been full of procrastination, right? A lot of times I find myself messing around on my website trying to clean up the design or I find myself working on whatever it is that's not really translating to new projects and more revenue for my business. So if I was on a speed run through my career, I would acknowledge that I don't have any time to waste. I can't redesign my, my portfolio site three, four, five times over. I don't have time to just binge YouTube during the day. I don't have time to scroll TikTok during the day. I need to be absolutely locked in and know my goals and my purpose and not do anything that doesn't support those 100%. The quote that stuck with me since almost day one of my business is progress is better than perfection because as a designer, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and it's easy for me to get stuck up on the little details and forget to focus on the things that are going to move the needle the most and the things that are going to generate revenue the most. And so focus on progress, not perfection. In a speed run, it's not going to be perfect. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to miss out on opportunities. But if your mind is set to that end goal, nothing's going to stop you from getting there as quickly as possible. Now, I already mentioned this before, but in this speed run, you cannot go it alone. You're going to need your team members. You're going to need to make connections and partnerships. And I wanna reiterate how important that is to spend the time to reach out to other people, whether that's in their DMs, shooting people an email, start to build a group around you of people that can answer questions and give you guidance and share ideas. And I am beyond grateful for the people around me in my life that have helped me get to that next step. There are a ton of people that I look up to and I talk about them a lot here on my channel, 
But this is without a doubt one of the most important parts is, is having your ecosystem of people that can help you, support you, teach you, and be open-minded and be willing to learn. And that leads us into my last point, which is opening your mind and really being willing to learn. Because this whole journey of a freelancer, it, it really it doesn't matter what it is that you're offering, whether it's design or marketing or something completely different, all of it is going to depend on your preparation and the knowledge that you're able to acquire from courses, both free and paid, from learning from other people, live streams, YouTube, books, wherever it is that you can go to acquire that knowledge and be open-minded and being willing to pivot when you're doing something wrong and being willing to admit that you've made a mistake and make adjustments and do it right the next time. That plays such a huge role in the acceleration of your career. And so for me, again, if I was trying to do uh, everything in a six-year career and compress that down into a few months, there would be no room for error. There would be no room for me to pause my progress to go read a book. There would be no time for me to pause my progress to start looking for a mentor and somebody to give me guidance or find some sort of leadership. And so those are the things that you need to start right now today because those relationships are the things that are going to push you to that next level quicker than anything else. So I've broken down all of my ideas and I can guarantee you that these are the things that I wish I knew early on and these are the things that are going to accelerate your career. And if you put all these things into practice, if you write them down and make it a daily constant reminder, it's gonna make a massive difference in your career. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found any value in this, it would really mean a lot if you would hit the like button down below. And also if you are specifically a web designer and you're looking for some way to accelerate your business and increase your revenue and land new clients and learn from others and build a network and an ecosystem, I would highly recommend that you come join our private membership, which is called Paid Pro. Inside this membership, you get exclusive trainings every single month from some of the best in the business. You also get to join the entire group on Zoom calls where we can ask questions, share ideas, and build one another up. You also have access to the private Facebook group where you can ask questions and get feedback. And there's a ton of other great resources and things that you're going to get inside of this membership. So if you're interested, feel free to click down below or you can click the link up here in the corner to check out Pay Pro. I really do hope we see you inside because all of us together are accelerating our careers. And I know if you're willing to commit to it, you could speed run your career far faster and better than I have. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.